All right, let's look at let's look at an example uh, using mass conservation. And here we have uh, we have. I'll, I'll just read the problem statement to you. Hot steel is being rolled at the rolling mill. The steel emerging from the rollers is 10% more dense than before entering. If the steel is being fed at the rate of 0.2 meters per second, what what is the speed of the rolled material? There's a 9% increase in the width of the steel. Okay. What's, what's going on is that we have these rolling mills, and they're rolling... Uh, this way, right? They're rolling this way, and this, this, all of this is hot steel. It's it's liquid steel. So it's it's coming into these roller, and it's being compressed, and the width is increasing. Right, the width is out of the page. It's increasing, and it's it's exiting here. And it said that the velocity, we'll call that velocity one. The velocity coming in uh, is is velocity 1 is equal to 0 0.2 meters per second, right? The velocity is coming this way. And they want to find out what is the velocity coming out. What is V2? Okay? And um, the, the height of this is uh, 30 millimeters, okay? So, let's look at a control volume. Let's stop this in time. And let's look at a control volume. So snap our fingers, time is stopped, let's look at uh, this control volume. Okay, let's look at this imaginary boundary. Let's see what's coming into this imaginary boundary and let's see what's uh, leaving out of this imaginary boundary. And they did say that, um, uh, well, Let's, let's look at the cross-sectional area of this side of the control volume. Okay, we'll call that area 1. Area 1 is equal to 30 times, let's say, width 1. We don't know the width. We don't know how high it is. And area, um, area 2 is equal to, oh, I forgot to dimension this, this is, is 10 millimeters, okay? So, it's 10, it's, it's height times width 2. We don't know what width 2 is, we don't know what width 1 is, but we do know that width 2 increases by 9% of the original width. So we know, we know that much. It's in the problem statement. And this this liquid is not homogeneous because uh, the density changes. It, it it told us that the density changes, or it gets uh, ten percent more dense. So density, uh, which we call rho, rho two, is actually equal to ten percent more of rho one, right? The density that comes into this control volume gets denser by 10% of the original density. Okay? So, remember, let's look at our uh, mass flow rates. Our mass flow rate uh, coming out is equal to the mass flow rate coming in. Or, rho q out is equal to rho q in and all and q is just the volumetric flow rate so q is equal to volumetric flow rate so it's it's a volume time or over time right and q is equal to the velocity times the cross sectional area okay so that's what q is uh, units uh, we ha we actually Oh, yeah, we do. We have meters or millimeters. We're in SI units, okay? But anyway, and we said uh, Q is equal to VA, right, the volumetric flow rate. Uh, so that's, that's rho 1, or I'm sorry, rho 2, right, the stuff that's coming out of the control volume. Rho 2 times V2 times A2 is equal to rho 1 times V1 times 
A1, okay? And we actually have everything we need. We have row 2, which is actually equal to 1.10 of row 1, so we'll, we'll put that in there, 1.10 of row 1, um, times velocity of 2, that's what we're trying to figure out. The cross-sectional area, A2, well, it, well it's, um, it's the height times the width, right? It's the cross-sectional area of the steel. It's, it's, uh, it's 10 times width, but we said the width increases by 9%. Okay, so we'll substitute with 2 into here. We'll get 10 times um, 1.09 times width 1. And that, that, that's the area. Is equal to row 1. Okay, row 1 times V1, which we said was 0.2 meters per second. 0 0.2. Uh, that's row VA. So the area of 1 is 30, right, 30 times with 1. And the reason I'm not um, changing 30 into, you know, 30 millimeters into point, uh, um, 0.03 meters is because, well, that conversion is going to cancel out here anyway, right? If we divided everything by 1,000, it would be the same as not dividing everything by 1,000, so... But here we see that uh, row 1 cancels, we, we have uh, width 1 cancels, and we're left with 1.10 uh, times velocity 2 times 10 times 1.09 is equal to 0 0.2 times 30. Right? So if we... Um, if we if we solve this out for uh, velocity velocity of two, we get zero point five zero zero four meters per second. Okay, that's that's the velocity coming out of the control volume. Okay, and we used our we used the mass coming in uh, or mass coming out is equal to mass coming in. We said Q is equal to volumetric flow rate, which is just a volume per second instead of, uh, you know, area per second. Uh, and and um, we, we plugged that in, and we got V2 is equal to 0.5 meters per second.